Annie and Snowball, and the dress-up birthday. Annie and Snowball, and the dress-up birthday. By Cynthia Ryland. Illustrated by Suchet Stevenson. Published by Aladdin Paperbacks. Copyright 2007. Contents. Favorite things. Page 5. Dress up plans. Page 16. A happy day. Page 25. Favorite things. It was almost Annie's birthday, and Annie was very excited. On birthdays, Annie got to wear her favorite things. Ribbons, and bows, and lace, and fancy little shoes. This year, she had her new bunny, Snowball. She would dress up Snowball, too. Annie couldn't wait. Annie decided she wanted to celebrate her birthday with just her family. Her family was her dad and Snowball, of course. But Annie's family was also her cousin Henry, Henry's parents, and Henry's big dog, Mudge. Annie had moved next door to Henry and Mudge, and she loved it. They watched old movies and ate popcorn on Friday nights. They threw frisbees. They played board games. And of course, Annie and Henry spoiled each other's pets. Annie adored Mudge. She gave him good brushings. And Henry liked Snowball. He gave her good scratchings. It was so much fun living side by side. So Annie decided to have a nice quiet birthday with her family. She'd ask everyone to dress up. It would be great! Dress Up Plans Annie telephoned Henry. Henry and Mudge were cleaning Henry's fish tank. Henry was cleaning and Mudge was handling the spills. When Henry answered the phone, Annie told him that Tuesday was her birthday. Dad is going to make my favorite foods, said Annie. Finger sandwiches and lemon tarts and strawberries dipped in chocolate. Yum, said Henry, scrubbing his castle. Mudge was wiping up the floor.
and it's going to be a dress-up birthday, said Annie. Great, said Henry. Tell your parents, okay, said Annie. Sure, said Henry. Annie and Henry said goodbye. Annie imagined what she would wear for her dress-up birthday. And she couldn't wait to dress up Snowball. Next door, Henry imagined what he would wear. And he couldn't wait to dress up Mudge. Annie's birthday would be fun. A happy day. Tuesday came and Annie's house looked beautiful. Annie's dad had filled it with daisies and carnations and yellow balloons. Annie looked beautiful too. She had dressed up in her best satin dress and sparkly pink tights and little white gloves with pearls. Snowball also looked nice. She had lacy ears and a glittery nose and a little blue bow on her tail. Even Annie's dad looked special. He was in a tuxedo, Annie had asked. Finally, the doorbell rang. That must be Henry, said Annie. Annie and Snowball and Annie's dad opened the door. And there stood a pirate. A gypsy, a mummy, and a moose. For a moment, everybody just stared. Then the pirate said to Annie, I thought you told me this was a dress-up party. It is, said Annie. Well, I thought you meant costumes, the pirate said as one of the moose's antlers fell off. Gee, said the mummy, I did put on my best bandages. Everyone laughed and laughed. Then they all had a lovely party. The mummy served the tarts, and the pretend moose and the bunny cleaned up the crumbs. Annie got a new teacup, a pretty doll, and a special set of little china plates. Then, when everything was finished, the gypsy told everyone's fortunes. She told Annie that all of Annie's days would be as happy as this one. But Annie already knew that because she had Snowball and Henry and Mudge as her very best friends. <laughs>